Hello everyone, I'm Jae Kim, a PhD student in Texas A&M University. Today, I will be presenting participatory sensing and digital twin city, updating virtual city model for enhanced risk-informed decision-making. A digital twin can be defined as a pairing of virtual and physical worlds that allows an analysis of data and monitoring of systems to head up the problems and even plan for the future using simulations. In the context of disaster management in urban environment, Digital Twin City has a great potential to monitor the power distribution network and stormwater drainage system. Despite the benefits of IoT sensor-based Digital Twin City, the pre-installed sensors cannot be sufficient to monitor the extent to which urban environments are vulnerable to potential natural disasters. To address these challenges, Participatory sensing would be a great alternative way for collecting large-scale data to understand the current state of large urban areas for disaster management. But still, current participatory sensing for CD monitoring has several limitations. Generally, it has mostly concentrated on reporting through text message. Although a few studies are using photos, researchers have primarily considered that location of user's smartphone is same as problem occurred, which means distant objects and areas likely dangerous to get close cannot be fully investigated. Thus, we propose a new framework to bring crowdsourced visual data-based reality information into a virtual city model in order to create digital twin city model. All data collection will be sent in the server and localization analysis is performed in the server as well. Geotech image and compass bearing data are captured by smartphone for performing localization analysis. Both these data will be sent to a cloud server. This is a case study in Houston. You can download our app in Google's App Store. When you find a vulnerable object, open up our app and then click Take Pictures. After taking the pictures, you can read compass. Lastly, you can choose the type of disaster vulnerable to this object. Then, you can see the all measurement in screen. After checking the data, click send. In the server, geographic location of distant vulnerable object can be estimated based on these data. The result is shown in digital toy city model in a nearly real time. This is our website to visualize our results in Houston area with digital twin city model. As you can see, we divide it into two types of disaster, flood and blackout. Infrastructure data can be provided by open source libraries such as GIS City of Houston. When you click the exclamation icon, the analysis result and the data collected by smartphone are shown in the table. Then, when you click the image, all images for one vulnerable object and Google Street View of each image can be shown. So you can compare the current condition of a vulnerable object captured by participatory sensing with its provided by Google Street View. This is another example in Texas Medical Complex. And in our digital twin city, we developed a power network analysis to plan a maintenance process against the extreme wind events. Utility poles generally are vulnerable to wind speed, thus we visualized which utility poles have a potential risk bearing upon wind speed. Also, the expected cascading impacts of failed poles are shown at the same time. As you can see, as the wind speed increases, the collapse of pole increases and the cascading impact also increases accordingly. Also, we bring the weather forecast data provided by open source weather API and they show on the top left box. Historical weather such as Ike, Harvey, Allison can be brought into our digital twin city so that we can predict which poles will fail when a corresponding size of hurricanes hit Houston. Eventually, we can apply this result in 
maintenance priority to prevent failure against the disaster. I would like to acknowledge the financial support from NSF for this research. Thank you for listening.